Hi friends, today we will study about synthesis of triacylglycerol that is TAG which is also known as triglycerides. Uh, each triacylglycerol is composed of three fatty acids and one molecule of glycerol. If three identical molecules of fatty acids are esterified with glycerol, they produce a simple triacylglycerol. If these three fatty acid molecules, which are of uh, different type, when they are esterified with the glycerol, then it forms the mixed triacyl glycerol now let's see the uh, structure of triacyl glycerol so let's make this simple triacyl glycerol so for that we have to take same type of fatty acid so we are keeping here r as the same fatty acid this is R C O O H R C O O H which is esterified with tri which is esterified with glycerol which has three hydroxyl group this is the structure of glycerol this is fatty as oh of fatty acid and h of hydroxyl group so three molecule of h2o are released to produce simple triacyl glycerol so this would be the structure of simple triacyl glycerol c o r so here we have the same r that's why it is a simple triacyl glycerol so if we would like to make the mixed triacyl glycerol if we take different types of fatty acids suppose this is r1 r2 r3 then it will become r1 r2 r3 then it will be designated as mixed triacyl glycerol this group as we see that uh, triacyl glycerol this is acyl so acyl means we are talking about the portion of fatty acid so this portion of every fatty acid is acyl group so as we have three acyl group this is second acyl group this is third acyl group that's why it is known as tri acyl glis glisrol this is an important things to be remember now uh, as we know that each triacyl glisrol is composed of fatty acid and glycerol so uh, next we will see the first biosynthesis of fatty acid then we will see the biosynthesis of glycerol to produce triacyl glycerol now let's study 
the biosynthesis of triacylglycerol or triglycerides. Mainly we will focus on the biosynthesis of fatty acids in plants. In plant cell, fatty acid synthesis takes place in plastids or chloroplast. But in animal cell, the biosynthesis of fatty acids takes place in cytosol. Fatty acid synthesis occurs through condensation of two carbon units of acetyl coenzyme A, which is a two carbon compound, in which malonyl coenzyme is also produced, which act as an intermediate molecule. And there are enzymes which are involved in the fatty acid biosynthesis. First is the ACC, the acetyl coenzyme carboxylase and biotin, and fatty acid synthase which mainly has ACP, the acyl carrier protein that carries fatty acid chain or acyl chain. So you remember the word of acyl as we discussed early as the fatty acid portion. KS is the another enzyme that is beta keto acyl, acyl carrier protein synthase that is the condensation of acetyl coenzyme ACP and malonyl ACP. The next enzyme is KR beta keto acyl ACP reductase in which NADPH is given uh, to the reaction by which it reduces the beta keto acyl. Now DH is the another enzyme that is beta hydroxy ACP dehydratase in which uh, water molecule is released. And next enzyme is ER that is enoyl ACP reductase. Again, a molecule of NADPH is given to reduce the beta hydroxy ACP uh, hydratase. Friends, important part. Uh, in fatty acid synthesis is that uh, these enzymes this enzyme these enzymes are used to reduce ketone group ketone group into alkane that we will see in the coming slide. First committed step of fatty acid synthesis is catalyzed by acetyl coenzyme carboxylase and biotin. The first committed step is catalyzed by two enzymes in which biotin is activate the CO2. This is the enzyme biotin which receives uh, carbon dioxide in the form of bicarbonate. Then it becomes activated. Then a CC enzyme which takes acetyl coenzyme which is a two carbon compound and here uh, CO2 is attached and it becomes malonyl, uh, malonyl coenzyme A which is a three carbon compound. So this is the structure of uh, acetyl coenzyme A as coenzyme A when it receives CO2 so this will come here an enzyme is a CC and biotin it's two step process as we discussed here then it will become uh, this CO2 will come here and it will become CH2 CO as coenzyme A. So this is the structure of 
मैलोनाइल को एंजाइम ए नाउ दिस मैलोनाइल को एंजाइम ए रिसीव एसाइल कैरियर प्रोटीन विच कैरीज मैलोनाइल ग्रुप एंड इट बिकम्स मैलोनाइल ए सी पी another molecule of acetyl coenzyme a this is this is the acetyl acetyl coenzyme a it also uh, received acp and it becomes acetyl acp now these two molecules are important which are condensed by the enzymes that we have discussed earlier so as we have seen that acetyl coenzyme a takes co2 and one molecule of atp is also required here then it becomes malonyl coenzyme a now this malonyl coenzyme takes acp and it becomes malonyl acyl carrier protein and on the other side acetyl coenzyme a receives acp and it becomes acetyl acp this is a two carbon compound and this is the three carbon compound uh, as we discussed this is catalyzed by acc and biotin now the malonyl coenzyme malonyl acp and acetyl acp condensed and one acp molecule is released and one molecule of carbon dioxide is released then it becomes aceto acetyl acp which is a four carbon compound so this condensation is done by the enzyme that we have discussed that is keto beta keto acyl acp now this aceto acetyl is also known as beta keto acyl acp so this enzyme is involved in the synthesis of beta keto acyl acp now it is carrying the ketone group then it takes hydrogen in the form of nadph h plus so it is getting reduced so it will be kr so keto acyl reductase then one molecule of h2o is released that is dehydration so it will be uh, dehydratase enzyme then again enoyl reductase enzyme is involved that is er in the reduction of keto group and it will form ultimately butyryl acp
so this is a four carbon compound and these three enzymes ks followed by kr then dh then er this set of enzymes are important to reduce ketone group into alkene now this four carbon compound again takes malonyl acp and this is the first reaction and these reactions now will be repeated now it will make the addition of two carbon compound again it will become four carbon compound then it will become eight carbon compound then 10 carbon compound 12 carbon compound 14 carbon compound then again it will form 16 carbon compound so if we are synthesizing palmitic acid which is a 16 carbon fatty acid then these reactions will take place so let's see mm. so this is the first reaction now again malonyl coenzyme will come co2 will be released as released here then again addition of two co2 is released again co2 is released and this cycle is repeated and since we are forming 16 carbon so let's see how many reactions took place this is first reaction second second reaction third this is fourth this is fifth sixth and seventh so for the production of 16 carbon palmitic acid palmitic acid 8 acetyl coenzyme A are required and 7 cycle or 7 reactions will take place now this uh, uh, the general uh, representation of how fatty acids are formed now we will understand uh, the fatty acid synthesis by uh, making their chemical structure so in this general diagram this part is most important if you are remembering this part then you can synthesize fatty acid and you can also oxidize it from alkane to ketone and that when we will discuss beta oxidation then it will be the reverse of the uh, fatty acid synthesis now in in coming slide we will see the the structures which are involved in the synthesis of fatty acid
please recall that we produced uh, acetyl ACP and malonyl ACP. So let's make the structure of these two compounds. That CS three CO as a CP plus CH two CO as ACP. Now with the help of condensation enzyme that is beta keto acyl synthase so co2 will be released this co2 will be released and one molecule of acp also released then it will become ch3 co CH2 CO as ACP so this is the compound is aceto acetyl ACP or this is known as beta keto acyl ACP. Now important point here to be noted is this is the alpha carbon, this is the beta carbon. So at beta position, so in the chemical structure everything, this whole structure will be same. We will make the change at this ketone group. So this is the beta keto, this is the acyl group. So beta keto acyl ACP. Now we will reduce this ketone group into alkane. Now how it is done? Let's see. So this ketone we will give hydrogen in the form of NADPH H plus so this will be the beta keto acyl ACP reductase because this enzyme is reducing it so this is the next enzyme KR and because this was involved in the synthesis of beta ketoyl acyl ACP that was a synthase now let's see what happens at the beta chain So it will be CH3, then one hydrogen will come here. So it will be H and it will become OH, then CH2, rest will be same. You need to focus on this beta carbon. Then there will be no problem in understanding the fatty acid synthesis so this is the beta carbon this is the alpha carbon so in the next cycle we will give water we will release water molecule now the OH of beta carbon 
and h atom of alpha carbon will be released in the form of h2o so this is the dehydration the enzyme would be dehydratase so that will produce a uh, CH3 so just remove OH of this and H at the alpha carbon in the form of H2O so it will be CH then it will become double bond rest would be same as ACP so this compound name so this is the beta carbon this is the alpha carbon and the position of hydrogen is opposite so this is the transposition this is carbon first this is carbon second so at second carbon we have the double bonds the total carbon four so it will be alpha beta trans enoyl ACP molecule is formed fine now again we will give hydrogen in the form of NADP H H plus so one hydrogen so let's use different color mm, fine so one hydrogen will come at beta carbon and one hydrogen will come at alpha carbon so it will become CH3 CH2 CH2 CO S ACP so there are four carbons it will be butyl ACP which is a four carbon compound and the enzyme which is involved here that will be enoyl on the basis of this enoyl reductase now again one molecule as we discussed in the general diagram again one molecule of malonyl ACP will come then it will form six carbon compound and so on fine so this is the important thing so what we observe that this beta position which is having the ketone group is this is the beta carbon now it is changing from ketone to alkane this is the important point you must remember now next point is how glycerol is synthesized now uh, as we know that in cytoplasm we have uh, CH2OH C double bond O CH2O phosphate group 
so this is the structure of structure of dihydroxyacetone phosphate now if we give it hydrogen then it will become CH2OH and this ketone group will reduce to this it will be the uh, glycerol 3 phos fate so this is the way by which uh, glycerol is formed now if we are giving so since we have produced the fatty acid so if we are giving fatty acid 1 at the carbon 1 position it will be CH2O fatty acid 1 this is CHOH so this is CH2O phosphate it will be uh, lyso uh, phosphatidic acid phosphatidic acid now again at 2 we will give another fatty acid let's say 2 then it will become CH2 O fatty acid 1 so it will be O fatty acid 2 then it will be CH2 rest will be the same so it will be the two acyl group as we discussed that fatty acid portion will be taken as acyl group so it will be di acyl di acyl glycerol this two acyl group and now with another enzyme we will give this enzyme phosphatase which takes H2O then PI is removed then it will be fatty acid 1 CH fatty acid 2 then CH2OH now this OH group is free now this is also diacyl glycerol uh, this is diacyl glycerol it will be this 3 phosphate it will be 3 phosphate when we will remove phosphate group it will become diacyl glycerol then this diacyl glycerol if takes fatty acid number 3 at 3 positions so it will become CH2O fatty acid 1 then CHO fatty acid 2 then CH so it will be fatty acid 3 now this is 3 acyl group so this is the completion of synthesis of triacyl glycerol so in next class uh, we will study the uh, oxidation of fatty fatty acids that will be the beta oxidation 
till then bye bye